Hi guys, it's Trish. I'm here to um, respond to Derek Vaughn's contest of uh, um, a singer, or an artist, or group everyone should try once. Um, now these guys came out of California and uh, I don't know if anybody's heard of them, but they're the Beach Boys. I mean, what? You've already, you all know about them? Okay. Well, that, and, and that scratches that. You didn't think I was serious, did you? <laughs> Come on. Life is short. Have a little fun. Especially these days. In these days, in this, these days, you know, where everything is just so serious and, you know, so tanked in the world and stuff. Okay, time to get serious. All right, this gentleman, I f first, yeah, I first heard of this artist on a, um, a uh, compilation by a uh, record company. I don't know if they're still in existence. It's called the Higher Octave, um, let's see, what is it called? Higher Octave Music. Now, I heard this artist, and he is perfect to, you know, listen to after a stressful day at work or stressful day in general. Yes, I'm talking about William Aura. Now, I first heard um, Carl Blue on a uh, higher octave compilation. Very, very, like, very chill. It's the kind of music you'd like that, you know, you're sitting on the beach with a cup of coffee and you're listening to this. You know, it, it's just that kind of music, you know, kind of music that takes you away from the, you know, it's just very relaxing and very mellow. So if you ever see this uh, artist, um, and this CD, William Aura, Half Moon Bay. It's great stuff. It's, uh, I don't know, like I said, I don't know if it's, um, there's still in existence, but, um, it's called, uh, let's see if I can, uh, whoa, sorry about that. Didn't mean to take you for a crazy ride there. It's called Higher Active Music. HigherOctave.com Can you guys see that? Alright, here's a track list. It's called William Aura Half Moon Bay. Very chill, very relaxing. Like I say, perfect to come home. And maybe if you're not by the beach, sit in your lounge chair, close your eyes and, you know, pretend you're at the beach. You have a nice cup of coffee in your hand. You're just real relaxing, you know, or, you know, get your, uh, you know, get your walk, your um, disc man and listen to this CD and, uh. Go to the beach with a cup of coffee and just relax, you know. Alrighty. Well, that's it for me. I'll be back later with... Um, <clears throat> I'll be back later with... Um, Shelf Poles 2015 episode 13. Wow, and I didn't foul that up. I nailed it. Okay, guys, more later. Hope you like this contest, Derek. Take care. Hi, guys. I'm back. I did record poll before, but I thought I pressed the record button, but I didn't. So anyway, um... I pulled from me my uh, tower, which is over there. And um, anyway, here is 
um, my my picks from the shelf pull 2015 episode 13 the first one up is sweet the the best of sweet has on it a little bit uh willy on it has a blockbuster on it you guys who grew up in the 70s uh, know a lot of these songs. Ballroom Blitz. Sweet did that. That's right. Um, I don't know if they originally did that, but if you have time, you can Google that song. Next up is John Lennon. Imagine or imagine John Lennon. <laughs> This is a great album. Um, um, and next up is Herbie Hancock, Future Shock. This is very, a very cool album. Rocket, you probably heard that song. Rocket. Next up is the very best of Santana. Chingo, you've got Change Your Evil Ways, baby. You got a black magic woman, no, no, or you'll come up. Uh, and fat Semper Pate um, is a great song. If I remember correctly, Semper Pate is a uh, a song for you. If I uh, if I remember someone telling me correctly. Um, next up is the Vogue's Greatest Hits. These are groups from the uh, 60s, 5 O'Clock World, Please Mr. Sun, what else might you know on here? Till, two, oh, and My Special Angel. You are my special angel. Oh, this is, um, Steal This Disc, Volume 1. It's a, a compilation of, um, Ryko, uh, artist Rico if I remember if I have my information correct is a is a record company from Japan if I'm right on that all righty next up is <laughs> Yup, Jimmy Durante. I don't know why I picked this. I thought uh, it had that song on there, Inka Dinka Do. But as other stuff, um, that's kind of cool. My dad loved listening to this. Oh, uh, yeah. All right, next up is Brian Setzer, 68 Come Back Special Ignition. This has a bunch of um, hot rod themes type stuff. I don't know. Ah, a classic. James Brown. Hi. <laughs>
Get on the good foot. Hi. Say it loud. I'm super bad. Hot pants. Yep. Ah, uh, another classic. Bruce Springsteen, born in the USA. One of his best albums, in my opinion. Born in the USA. I wasn't really into Bruce Springsteen until this album came out, to be honest with you. Peggy Lee. Miss Peggy Lee. Another classic that my dad liked. But I liked her, too, you know. In the, um, in the 90s of the onslaught of rap and grunge, I started to explore um, earlier music. And uh, I got this for my dad on cassette years ago. And he liked it. I said, wow, that's pretty cool, too. All right. Well, that's it. Um, this is Trish signing off. Peace, love, and keep the good tune spinning. I'll probably do episode 14 after Thanksgiving. And, um, if I don't see you guys before, if I don't uh, make a video before then, I wish each and every one of you a happy and healthy Thanksgiving full of love and good times. All right? And um, safe travels. Peace, love, and keep the good tune spinning.